Come on, wake up. Wake up. Welcome to Trivia Night. A dark, dark reckoning. But it's also an affordable vacation for the whole family. If your family likes being murdered. I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini games. If you do badly in the mini game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. And you still have time to join the audience and potentially get killed by me. It's fun! Listen to me blabber on. Let's just get into the game. You'll figure it out as we go. First question. Hey, just a reminder that public radio is important. Be sure to donate when you get the chance. Thanks. And now back to the trivia. What's the name of the fictional town in A Prairie Home Companion? Use your device to answer the question. Correct answer is... Who got it right? The rest of them. Prepare for your punishment. Welcome to the killing floor. I'm going to ask you a question. Your life depends on how you answer. If dogs could talk, what would they say? Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. Writing nothing is a bad idea. <laughs> now everyone gets to vote. Pick which of these answers you hate the most. The person who wrote the answer with the most votes will die. Seriously, pick one you just don't like. <laughs> Voting is not just a right. It's a privilege. <laughs> the votes are in. Ooh, these words will look good on your headstone. See, I wasn't joking when I said I'd kill you. I just totally killed you. But you're not getting out of this game that easily. Ghosts still get to play and can even win the whole thing in the final round. Here at Trivia Murder Party, we believe even the deceased should have a chance to succeed. Let's take a look at the scores. Now, don't get upset if you're in last place. Just do your best and know that you are special. But also, I will kill you, so do better. Here's another one. Who is not one of Hannah Horvath's three good friends in Girls? And the correct answer is... This. The rest of you who are still alive, let's play a game. Welcome back to the killing floor. We're going to play chalices. I've given all the safe players a bit of poison to use. Pick a chalice to poison. Stop being so dramatic and put the poison in already. Some of you didn't use your poison pellet, so I'll have to add a few of my own. What do you think I am? Made of poison pellets? And it's your turn now. Pick a chalice to drink from. 
You wouldn't believe how many renaissance fairs I had to go to to get all these chalices. Mmm, <laughs> tasty. Now let's see what everyone drank. Say what? No one drank any poison? I guess I'll just have to leave these for the maid. To drink and be poisoned by. Here's how all the scores are looking. I've got more questions for you. Just so my Titanic romantic fanfiction is historically correct, I'm wondering... Where was the Titanic heading before it sank? I have to ask a sports question so nobody can question my masculinity. What sport is played on a fronton? Let's go someplace fun. Let's test your memory. Memorize the pattern. And done. From left to right, what was the order of the colors? If you have the worst memory, you die. Don't forget. Was this the order you burned into your brain? How much of it did you remember? It looks like you forgot what was at stake. Try this again. Get your EpiPens ready. Which of the following candy bars does not contain peanuts? see your artistic side. And no, this isn't drawful. I'm using it in a totally different way. Sheesh. Fashionable. Draw this thing the best you can and press send when you're finished. gets to vote. I want you to pick the worst drawing. Pick the drawing that makes you go, uh, yeah. no. No, sir. I will not have any of that. <laughs> the votes are in. It's never really easy to put yourself out there like you did, but oh well. I'm still thinking about how bad your drawing was. The 
Let's try another one. What is not a disaster that can tear up your city in the first edition of SimCity? Said this one. Let's go someplace fun. We're going to play the finger cutting game. My collection is running a little low. Just choose one of your fingers to cut off. Easy, right? All you have to do is endure blinding pain. Make with the cutting already. Is it weird that I just love fingers? I guess anyone would say the same thing. Alright, next question. I hope I'm never trapped on a tropical island. I hate coconut. It's a texture thing. But tell me, who died while trapped on the island of St. Helena? The correct answer is... This one. Only a ghost got it wrong. Hmm, too easy. Next question. What city lies where the blue and white Nile rivers come together? For some number fun! Answer as many math questions as you can before time runs out. All the other players will be playing along too. And if any of them do better than you, there will be a punishment. Let's do this. Yay, math! Keep going! I believe in you! You know how numbers work, right? Well, time's running out. Somehow you were able to survive my gauntlet of basic math. Alright, next question. Where is Mount Kilimanjaro? The answer is... This one? I have a surprise for you. Let's see if you can string some letters together. Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. I do this all the time for my job. Don't be the person with the shortest word or you'll regret it. Do it now. By the way, the letters don't have to be touching. And don't forget to press submit when you're done. Ah! Let's see what you came up with. Uh-oh. Just 
down to one. Glad to see you've made it here alive. But can you escape with your body? I'm going to give you a category. Animals on the endangered species list in 2016. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for every correct answer. You're getting real close to the exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. Decisions, decisions. The ghosts are getting close now. Are you afraid of the dark? You should be. Rodents! Hurry up! LaCroix flavors! Time is almost up! This is gonna get ya! Ernest Phelps. Decisions, decisions. So sad. Mountain Dew flavors. Anytime today, kiddo. We got a ghost breathing down your neck. Spooky! Oh! <laughs> 
Welcome to Trivia Night. I... I feel like we've done this before. We've done this before, right? I just didn't dream that. Weird. Well, let's get to it. Okay, first question. Which of these animals does not live off the blood of others? The answer is... Who got the question right? For the rest of you, I have a surprise for you! 